Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and as you will have seen by the title today, I am doing my lipstick collection and declutter. I have so many. These here, this is full of lipstick, lip glosses, the lot. So it's about time I had a bit of a declutter. So let's jump right on in with this is the V Cosmetics, the Liquid Moisture Lipstick in the shade Spaceman. This is what I am wearing now. The formula of this lipstick is amazing. I can highly recommend their Liquid Moisture Lipsticks, highly. I love this. So obviously that is going nowhere. And another new one that I've fallen in love with is the Fenty Beauty Peltsicle in the shade Go Deep. And this is the shade look how beautiful oh i love this lipstick so much it's really comfortable to wear as well and uh, it's got pretty good lasting time so next up i have one of beauty bakery's lip whips <laughs> and this one's the shade Jelliana. um i haven't actually i don't think oh wait have i um let's have a yeah, I think I've used this once, but I have enough glosses. I don't think I'm going to wear this. I actually forgot I even had it. So this is going to be the first in the declutter pile, which is on the bed behind me. Next up is one of my favourite lipsticks. This is the Lime Crime Matte Velveteens in the shade Moonstone. This lipstick is the bomb. Let me... there but hey ho look at that shade how perfect is that so yes obviously moonstone is going nowhere and then next up is another lime crime matte velveteens and this one is pink velvet and pink velvet is this beautiful bright pink look at that absolutely gorgeous so not going anywhere and then i have my madage beauty london the high shine lip gloss in crystal beauty i love this so much i love it to mix with pigments i love it on its own to moisturize my lips beautiful that's one i highly recommend so i have two of the sakura shine lipsticks so the first one here is Kanishon and and she looks like this and she's staying uh, both of these are staying and this one is Tsubaki and this is one of my favorite lipsticks in my collection absolutely beautiful let me pop a bit on my hand so you can just see how how pretty that color is that's a, that is that one there absolutely stunning all right moving on so then i have the makeup by lisa liquid lipstick this is the shade autumn rose i love this i'm not gonna be able to do too many swatches i'm gonna run out of hand space so this is autumn rose and let me just so this here, that is Autumn Rose. Absolutely stunning colour. Love it. Um, and we have one of the Dramatic Boutique lip glosses. I have four, I think. They're mixed in. Um, but yes, so <laughs> the Dramatic Boutique. This one is number four. I think it's like the bluey holographic -y one. How beautiful is that? I won't be parting with any of these. And there's also this one here. Look at that shine. They're beautiful and they are amazing either on their own or over a lipstick. Beautiful. So next is Lime Crime Lip Blaze in the shade, I can't read that, Jade. And this is this one. I 
really like this too and it's a really nice kind of neutral lipstick so that is it there and not going anywhere <laughs> I'm not doing very well here but I'm pretty sure that all the ones I use the most are on top and the others are underneath so we'll see <laughs> next is from Ofra and it's the flexi stick flexi slick I can't speak flexi slick and the shade stretch and that's pretty much the same color as that blaze lip blaze so this is a stretch from Ofra this one here um, I'm not a massive fan of the formula in these to be honest so because I can see clearly that the Lime Crime Lip Blaze is of, uh, of a very similar colouring. I think I'm just going to pop this in the declutter pile. And then next up is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. This is in the shade... In the shade... What shade are you? Ah, in the shade Havana. Um, this I didn't like the formula of at all um it goes on patchy you can see just by my hand how patchy that is and um, and it crumbles off my lips so uh this one in the declutter pile right <laughs> next up um revolution beauty is their pro supreme lipstick in the shade provocateur and as she looks like this they're nice lipsticks but i just don't reach for them anymore so that one is going in the declutter pile next up is one of my melt lipsticks this is the matte lipstick in the shade stepford this is one of my favorite lipsticks of my collection i don't know if that's going to do so i will pop a bit on my hand just to show you so that there is Stepford and it's amazing these bullet lipsticks last so well it's unreal they're amazing um, and another one of the melt this one is one of the ultra matte lipsticks and this is the shade space cake and this is another firm favorite you will see why look at that how beautiful is that color there we go that one there <laughs> absolutely gorgeous not going anywhere i highly highly recommend these melt bullet lipsticks highly next is another one of the matte lipsticks see although they come out matte the ultra matte aren't drying none of these are overly drying so yeah, I'm just going to shush and carry on now. So this one is on the go. And this is my perfect nude. Yeah. Oh, again, that's a similar colour to Blaze and that. So there's on the go. An absolutely gorgeous neutral shade. Then next up is... The other Ofra Flexi Slick that I have, this shade is Velour. Um, I don't like the formula, so this is going in the declutter pile also. So next up is one of Island Play Cosmetics Liquid Lipsticks. I, for the life of me, cannot remember the name of it right now. It's not on here, but let me just show you this. This is beautiful. It's like a deep black cherry shade so it is this one look at that such a beautiful shade so and i've only used this once so i am going to keep hold of that one and next up is ciate london glitter flip in the shade surreal i love this i desperately want to get some more of these because it is absolutely gorgeous 
the shade is beautiful the finish of it is beautiful so that is it there look at that uh, it's beautiful absolutely beautiful so yes that one's going nowhere <laughs> i'm not doing great am i so next up is from we makeup it is their ever liquid lipstick in the shade 10 um this is another favorite the formula is amazing on these as well well this i say these this is the only one i have but you can see kind of a bit of a theme of the coloured lipsticks I like. I didn't realise that. So this here is the We Make Up Ever Liquid Lipstick in the shade 10. I'm going to have to look up what the actual name is because we just have 10 on here. But yes, beautiful. So the next one is the Antimatter Lipstick from illamasqua in the shade energy that was so difficult i have no idea why and this is the color i'll just pop a bit somewhere on me so i can show you i'm running out of room <laughs> so this here is the illamasqua antimatter lipstick um beautiful i really enjoy that one then next up is the Melt Liquid Lipstick in the shade Toke. So let me show you this. So this here is Toke. I've only worn it once and I'm not sure I'm not sure how I feel about this formula, so I am going to keep playing with it, but the, that colour look, beautiful. So not going anywhere, ah, oh, here, this is what I keep forgetting I've got and forgetting to use, so I need to put it like somewhere else. So this is my Stila Lush Lips Water Plumping Primer, and it is amazing for like hydrating underneath the liquid lipsticks, it's just brilliant i highly recommend this if you can get hold of it because uh yeah it's excellent i just keep forgetting i've got it and then we have the bybe plumper lip balm um i think bybe bybe i don't know how you pronounce it but this is beautiful this is a really nice lip balm it's not one of those majorly tingly ones um so i wouldn't say it's overly plumping but it's really nice so that's going nowhere and god are we even halfway through <laughs> and then next up is i am filming aren't i oh thank god for that and then next up is the catrice cosmetics plumping gel lipstick i have it in the shade feminista i love this this is my only true orange lipstick look at that let me show you I really enjoy this lipstick. I love it. Look. Oh, <laughs> look at that. I don't know if it's showing up as true orange on camera as it is in real life, but beautiful. Beautiful. And the formula, the um, plumping gel lipsticks, they're really comfortable, really nice. They don't last as well as, say, the melt lipsticks, but i really love this one and the color is just the bomb so next up is another lip whip from beauty bakery this one is the shade milkshake and oh, if i can get the lid open let me just plonk that there and milkshake literally is the <laughs> the color of a strawberry milkshake look at that this one is staying because uh, she's beautiful right <laughs> i'm gonna have no room i'm gonna end up having to do it on my arm so the next one is one of melt's ultra matte lipsticks in the shade tomboy another firm favorite look at that let me just pop some for you to see it's like a khaki green look at that 
beautiful. That is one of my favourite lipsticks. If you like these kind of tones, these colours, that's amazing. Highly, highly recommend. Then I have, um, this is one of Nabla's liquid lipsticks. I don't think they sell it anymore. It's in the shade Narcotic and it's so beautiful. But I try not to wear it on camera because, yeah, I had a look on their site and it's not on there. But this is what she looks like. How stunning is that colour? Beautiful. Um, so, yeah, she's not going anywhere, but... Yeah, it's really difficult to use on camera. I just don't because I don't want to be showing things that you can't get hold of. So next up is a lip gloss from the Sailor Moon and Colourpop collection. It's an ultra glossy lip in the shade Sailor Moon. So I love the formula of this. Let me try to put it up there. I don't think you can really see much on the hand, but... I love the, uh, oh yeah, you can, look. I love this formula, I, I love the colour. It's beautiful. It is a very, obviously, um, kind of transparent colour. It is a gloss, but it is stunning. I love it. Right, I have a couple of lipstick samples in here that won't be going anywhere. So firstly, I have this uh, the purple one from uh, Makeup by Lisa. The name escapes me, but it's beautiful and not going anywhere. And then I have, this is Black Forest Cato. This is a lipstick sample from Pout and Shout. And again, not going anywhere because I love it. Right, next up, uh, this is my e.l.f. Coconut Lip Scrub. I love this. It's amazing. Not going anywhere. Don't need to show you it because uh, it doesn't really look like anything. Right, so next up is one of the Catrice Demi Matte lipsticks in the shade um, Most Flattering Petal Pink. Right, let's have a look. Where can I put you? So this is it here. So it says most flattering petal pink. I don't think it suits me at all. So this one is going to be going in the declutter pile. So next up is another one of Makeup by Lisa's liquid lipsticks. The name has completely escaped, completely escaped me. Um, but it is the only one that looks like this on the site. How beautiful is that? My memory is just horrendous at the moment so this one up here is the color look at that red isn't it just beautiful absolutely stunning so yes obviously not going anywhere the next up from Labelle is the matte liquid lipstick in the shade Exotic Chic. I don't like the formula, um, so it will be going in the declutter pile, but this colour is so stunning. So this is, oh crikey, smudging it. So <laughs> this one here is the Labelle liquid lipstick, shade Exotic Chic. And this is going in the declutter pile. Just, I don't get on with the formula. Love the eyeshadow palettes though. Right, next up is another one of the Lime Crime Matte Velveteens. This one is in the shade Peacock. This one is one of my absolute favourite liquid lipsticks that I own. And this here. Oh, come on, focus. This one here is Peacock. It is stunning. If you like blue lipsticks, this is amazing. But then if you like blue lipsticks, but you don't like liquid lipsticks, then the Fenty Beauty Go Deep Pouncicle lipstick is a great option. Oh, crikey. There's still a lot to go. I'm just, I think I'm gonna take a quick break.
<laughs> and then come back to to go through the rest so i will see you in just a second for you and a few minutes for me right i am back and ready to go again so the next lipstick is another lime crime matte velveteens this one is in the shade vibe this one is beautiful look at that shade I love these lipsticks. They have to be one of my absolute favourite formulas. They're stunning. And then next up is another favourite. Is another one of the Lime Crime Matte Velveteens in Cashmere. Oh, this has to be one of the most amazing shades ever. So this here is Cashmere. Can we get it to focus? Come on. I don't know how well it's focusing. This is a stunning lipstick. Next up, another Lime Crime Matte Velveteens. And this one is Cement. Another one that I absolutely love. You will see what. So this one here is Cement. How beautiful is that colour? It's like a real beautiful grey. I love it. And another Lime Crime Matte Velveteens. This one is Teacup. And if I can get this open. Teacup is an absolutely stunning shade of blue. Let me just... And this one here is Teacup. Beautiful. So, going nowhere. Um, let me try and get these uh, Lime Crime ones out of the way because... I can't see me passing with any of them. Right, so next up is Lime Crime Matte Velveteens in the shade Cupid. And Cupid, oh, this is such a beautiful colour. And this, <laughs> this one here is Cupid. Yeah, that's Cupid. Cupid is going nowhere. And next up is another one of the Lime Crime Matte Velveteens in hashtag 18, I think it is, or is it 10? So the 10 or 18. Not sure that. Oh, okay. I think actually. So this is the shade here. Hmm. Right, I think having pink velvet, I am going to let this one go. So that's in the declutter pile. So I don't need two that are pretty much identical. And this is one of the Lime Crime plushies, little mini one. And this is pink drink. <laughs> Let me show you this one. This is so cute. Just, I love how diddy it is. It's so cute. Yes, this is the shade here, and I love it. Absolutely love it. Is the nerd going anywhere? And oh, <laughs> another one of the Lime Crime Matte Velveteens. This one is Thistle. This is another absolutely stunning shade. We are going up my arm now. <laughs> I didn't actually intend on swatching pretty much everything. This here is Thistle, and it is a stunning shade. I love it. Right, where are we at now? So, next up I have the Colourpop Ultra Matte Lip in Fragile Things. I've only worn this once so far, so... Uh, but I do really love the colour. So, this here is the Colourpop is it Colourpop Ultra Matte Lip in Fragile Things? Ooh. There. Yeah, that one is a staying also. And then we've got the Revolution, I Heart Revolution Salted Caramel Lip Gloss. This is my favourite lip gloss for summer. It's got the perfect amount of colour just to, oh, it's just stunning. But this is is the salted caramel beautiful and it's poppy 
oh it smells beautiful too i love this so next up is another one of the i Heart revolution um lip glosses this is the raspberry lip gloss and hmm, not sure on this one hmm I think I am going to keep this for another round and see if I use it in the summer because it does look beautiful more beautiful than I remember it looking so I am going to hang on to that Jesus there's just so many so so many so next up is the revolution what is it it's a revolution liquid lipstick in the shade the rebellion so let's pop you there and this is a stunner another stunner this one here i don't know how well the colors are, are showing up on camera but hmm. and then i've got my huda beauty liquid lipstick that i always forget i've got this is in the shade girlfriend and so this is another beautiful shade and wonderful formula so this here is girlfriend if i can get it to focus yes not going anywhere um <laughs> i'm really not doing well um this is one of makeup by lisa's lip glosses the clear one crystal again i love it the it's so silky it's perfect yeah going nowhere right <laughs> another one of the dramatic boutique um holographic lip glosses love it not going anywhere and same again another one not going anywhere i love them so next up is the melt iridescent lipstick in the shade motor my light's flashing stop flashing um and this is the color let me just swatch it out for you to see because it is beautiful and it's got sparkle i don't know if you're going to be able to see the sparkle on uh, the camera but this is it here yeah i don't think it's showing up the sparkle but it has sparkle and it looks beautiful and then we have another one of the melt matte lipsticks this is old-fashioned and and this here is the shade old fashioned so next up i have one of the profusion metal matte lip creams in metal peach oh crikey this does look absolutely stunning and i love the formula oh look at that shine stunning beautiful i say stunning with everything this it's beautiful it's amazing amazeballs um i love it <laughs> so i haven't got a clue what i'm going on about and now is the melt ultra matte lipstick in the shade dark room and this is another favorite and there this is dark room beautiful and then we have the melt ultra matte lipstick in the shade by starlight and this is what she looks like and oh so this is by starlight so so it's pretty much the same shade as the ilamasca antimatter lipstick in energy so i think i'm going to pop the ilamasca one in the declutter pile and keep my melt by starlight and then we have NYX Turn Top Lipstick in the shade 02. Is it other shade? Wine and Dine. And this is what she looks like. It's a little twisty up. 
and so this here is wine and dine hmm. honestly i i don't reach for this so i think this is going to be another one in the declutter pile doing better and then the last in the box i have here is all lip liners but then i do have some lipsticks that live in my box of shame at the moment because i haven't tried them so firstly let's go through these lip liners so i've got the lip liner from island play it's the one that matches the lipstick and and that is what she looks like staying 100 percent um and then we have the essence soft contouring lip liner in going steady this one's a pain in the backside to uh sharpen it might just be the sharpener i use um yeah that one there is the essence going steady so yeah i think i'm going to i'm gonna hang on to that for where am i i'm just gonna put that aside as a maybe for a moment because i am not i'm not sure so next up i have one of the mua makeup academy intense color lip liners this one is in the shade sincere crikey that took some uh... so this one is sincere and i'll be honest i prefer the one from essence so the mua one is going to go in the clutter pile and the essence one is staying then i have my only red lip liner and i keep meaning to dig this out as an eyeliner also so this is the essence thanks so this is the essence stay eight hour lip liner waterproof with sharpener i do you know what i did not realize this they have a little sharpener that is in the end amazing uh anyways so this is in the shade passionate so let's this lip liner is so silky soft it's unreal look at that so i definitely want to get more shades in this lip liner because it's very creamy and beautiful so yes not going anywhere next up we have another one of the essence stay eight hour lip liners and this one is in the shade tea time oh that is so similar so this is so similar to the essence soft contouring lip liner and going steady so the going steady one is going to go in the declutter pile and i'm going to keep hold of the um stay eight hour lip liner i do prefer a twist up um lip liner anyway and then last of the lip liners is the w7 lip twister and this one is in the shade this one is in the shade lilac it's another twist up one which is my preference and this is another beautiful neutrally eyeliner eyeliner lip liner yeah that one's there so that's the last one that one's staying now before we go on to see how many are in the declutter pile i do have some lipsticks here that um currently are in my box of shame so this liquid lipstick is from space cake cosmetics and it is in the shade galaxy i've only recently discovered this brand and i am desperate to try this so let me just plonk some up there it is a proper black liquid lipstick i have been after one for ages and here she is look look at that 
beautiful. So yes, this will be coming up in a video soon, um, but for now, she's going back in the box of shame. And the next one is the Lime Crime Matte Velveteens in the shade Trouble. Um, let's put you there. This, I don't know why I haven't tried this yet, because this is like a real kind of swampy green brown. Look at that. It's beautiful. So yeah, that obviously isn't going anywhere. None of these will be going anywhere because I haven't even tried them yet. So next up is from Madage Beauty is the Lip Envy Satin Lipstick in the shade Mirage. So this is the shade here. It's beautiful. And another one of those from Madage Beauty is the shade Nocturne. And let's put you underneath Mirage. So this one here is Nocturne. Look how beautiful that colour is. Lastly, I have an e.l.f. Sheer Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Praline Petal. And let me... Crikey, that took some getting out. It seems a bit see-through, but... Oh, sheer matte liquid lipstick. That explains it. So this is the e.l.f. sheer matte liquid lipstick in the shade Praline Petal. So yeah, they're going nowhere because they are from my box of shame that haven't been tried, but have now been swatched. So I've got a very, very colourful hand and wrist. All right. So, lips. So, we have parted with two lip liners and then both of the Ofra Flexi Slick lipsticks. I really don't get on with the formula at all. And then the Beauty Bakery Lip Whip in Jelliana. And then the Revolution Pro Supreme Lipstick in Provocateur. So that's that one. She's a going. I know my mum wants this one. And then the Catrice Demi Matte Lipstick in the shade Most Flattering Petal Pink. The Labelle Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Exotic Chic. The I don't get on with the formula, unfortunately. Then... <laughs> then the NYX Turned Up Lipstick in the shade, I've lost it, Wine and Dine. Um, I've got others very similar. It is a beautiful lipstick. There's nothing wrong with it. I just have others in the same colour that I prefer. And then the Lime Crime Matte Velveteens Liquid Lipstick in the shade, I'm not sure if it's hashtag 10 or hashtag 18, but it's that bright pink one. And I'm just parting with it because I have another one that's pretty much the same colour. And then the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Havana. Um, I just, I don't really like, uh, I don't really like the formula at all. So uh, yeah, that's, that's that. And the Ila Masca anti matte Lipstick in Energy. Again, I have the same shade in another formula that I prefer so that's that so that is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten lipsticks better than I thought so ten lipsticks decluttered um, but still left with a ton of lipsticks I'm so bad at parting with things it is unreal so yes, that was my lipstick collection and declutter, mostly collection. So guys, that's it from me for today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a like, thumbs up. It really helps me out. And if you are new around here, then I hope you'll consider sticking around. I am a huge supporter of indie brands. And as you can probably tell by my face, a huge lover of colorful makeup. So if that sounds like something that you'd be interested in, then please do hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss the next time I upload. 
that thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're all having a great day, great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.